Welcome back! If you're new around here, my name is Ellie and welcome to Swan and Strong. I don't really know where to start with today's video, so I suppose I'm just going to dive right in. I've made the decision to not go back to drama school. So I've trained in musical theatre and acting professionally since I was 16. I'm now 19. I've done three years of it. I did two years on a BTEC course and then one year on a foundation course. And after that, most people would decide to go on and do a three-year degree course, but I've made the decision that that's not for me. My main reason for this is that drama school as a disabled person is a struggle. It's a massive struggle. I don't think drama schools are equipped to deal with many disabled students, and especially not complex disabled students. When I first went to drama school at 16, I decided that my disability wasn't going to be an issue. I had letters from my doctors saying that I could still do the course and I turned up and I expected myself to be able to do everything like everybody else and I decided that that was what I was going to do. Uh, it didn't quite go to plan and within a week of being there, I was in hospital with I think it was a dislocated hip or maybe a shoulder, I can't really remember. But I got told then that if things carried on that way then I sort of wouldn't last very long at the school. And I mean I did, I lasted the whole course, but only just. It was very backwards and forwards, there was a lot of ups but there were also a lot of downs. I'd say there were probably more downs than ups which is a massive shame. But I came out of that school meeting some amazing people, some amazing teachers, and I did learn a lot. The second school I went to for a foundation course, I also came up against some teachers with not the best idea of what disabled people could or couldn't achieve, or how a disabled person needed to act or carry themselves. And this I've already mentioned in another video, where a teacher told me to leave my disability at the door, which obviously damaged me because I can't do that, that's not a choice that anyone with any disability can make is to just leave it at the door, so that comment baffled the heck out of me. But it just wasn't a very good environment for me as a disabled person. By the way, none of this is to say that in the future, if the perfect course comes up and I love it, I won't be going back to drama school. It's just in this moment for me, I am comfortable with the choice that I'm not going to do it. If I could go back in time to when I was 16 and I was going to drama school, I wouldn't change anything about going. I would 100% still go. It was such a good choice for me. I'm happy I went. But I would definitely prepare myself mentally for the fact that people don't get it. People have not been trained on how to get it. People don't understand how to help you, how to help themselves help you. It, it was just sort of a mess really. At drama schools there is a large percentage of able-bodied people. Most of the people at a drama school or whoever go through a drama school will be able-bodied people who can kick their leg higher than anything and drop down into the splits and do backflips. And as me, I thought that would be me, but I obviously didn't take into account that I have these disabilities and that there would be challenges for me to come up against. There were plenty of times where I was sort of told that I could leave whenever I wanted and that door was definitely held open for me at any point I could have left and it was made very easy for me to do that. But I wasn't going to do that because I feel like people drastically underestimated how much I was capable of and how much I wanted to be there. I think it's very easy for people to assume that when you're disabled and you have to spend time in hospital or you have to look after yourself or your body is struggling physically that you don't want to be somewhere or you're just in a bad mood or that you're unmotivated and that came up a lot but mentally I was never unmotivated I was always sort of having to be more motivated than other people because I had so many more barriers that I had to face but when I was at my foundation course it was made very obvious to me that I was going to come up against this a lot in the drama school system. I was under the impression that the first school I went to just didn't know how to deal with someone like me and hadn't really come up against disability before. But then the second school I went to was sort of quite similar in the way they dealt with me. And 
it was very much an individual teacher basis. There would have there would be teachers who were really good at it and teachers who just didn't know what to do. Then definitely needs to be more conversation around disabled people in drama school or in the whole industry, no matter what area you study. I feel like I've met people with disabilities who come up against difficulties no matter what area of the industry they're in. But while I was at my second course on my foundation, I decided that I wasn't going to audition for degree courses like everybody else was because it was obvious that it wasn't quite working for me and I felt like I could learn in different ways. As we know, everyone learns so differently and I was someone who, going to college or university 9am until 6pm wasn't going to get the best out of me. I would spend so much time coming up against teachers, having to educate, that I didn't spend enough time learning what I wanted to learn for me. And that is why I've ultimately decided at this point I'm not going to go back. I have made steps still towards my career in the industry because that is obviously where I ultimately want to be. I have gone out and I've put loads of work in and I have got myself an agent so I'm now a represented actor which I'm so happy about because there's some people who really didn't think I would ever do it and I'm doing it and I'm going to do it and I'm going to keep doing it. We use every opportunity that is to learn because now I'm in a really good place physically and mentally where I can learn and look after myself at the same time and make the puzzle pieces fit together. So that's, that's sort of the main gist of it. That's what I wanted to let you guys know. If there are any disabled people out there watching this video and thinking, goodness me, I really want to get into acting or into musical theatre, but you've made drama school sound awful, please, please message me. There's so much more to it than meets the eye. There's so much more that I obviously don't want to discuss out there on the internet, but like the intricacies of it. But if you're out there watching this, please, please, please message me on Instagram. My Instagram is at small underscore and underscore strong. I will help you. And there's also a company that I will have linked down below who are really working hard on ensuring equality in the industry. I think I've said enough on that topic. Um, I, will, I won't tell you which schools I went to because full respect to the schools. They tried with me and unfortunately some of it just didn't work out and that's not to say that it won't work out for other disabled people it's not to say they won't upgrade their policies and they won't change and they won't learn from the mistakes they've made with me um i really hope they do actually and i would happily happily sit down with people and help to change the system because there's no point complaining if you're not going to work towards change so i do want to let you know that i am working towards the change and i am willing to help anybody out there work towards the change and help change the industry really. So that will be all from me for today's video and I'll see you in the next one.